Hi everyone, in my earlier video on computer systems, I mentioned that one of the main components of a general computer system is a microprocessor. Well, in this video, I'm going to explore the microprocessor and microprocessor system in more detail. Here is a block diagram of a microprocessor system. At the heart of the microprocessor system is the central processor unit or CPU. The CPU consists of the control unit, ALU or arithmetic logic unit and registers. Next is the memory section which consists of the read-only memory or ROM, ROM and random access memory RAM RAM if you want to connect any external device to the microprocessor system you will need an input output device uh, this could be a general purpose input output device or a chip GPIO a serial chip for serial transmission of data or a timer chip. Now all these components, the ALU, the ROM, the RAM, the input output devices are all interconnected by three buses. Uh, that is the address bus, the data bus and the control bus. Buses are basically electrical connections. So this is a picture of the of an MPF1 Z80 microprocessor trainer. I'm going to use the MPF1 Z80 microprocessor trainer to explain the concepts mentioned in the previous slide. Now at the heart of the MPF1 microprocessor uh, trainer is the Z80 microprocessor or CPU. The term CPU and microprocessor are used interchangeably. Here's a picture of the Z80 CPU. And here is a pin, physical pin-out diagram of the Z80. Let's see how this, how this picture and how this physical pin-out are related. Notice this is pin 1 on the physical pin-out diagram. And this corresponds to the pin 1 of this Z80 picture. Pin 2 here will correspond to the pin 2 of this picture. Pin 3 here on the physical pinout will correspond to pin 3 here of the Z80 picture. And on this side is a logical pinout. Now in the logical pinout diagram, the signals are grouped logically. So for example, here we have the address signals in one group, the data signals here in another group, and all the control signals are grouped together here. And here is the uh, clock signal and the power pins of the Z80. Now, I've repeated the uh, block diagram of the microprocessor system here and I've also repeated the picture of the uh, MPF1 Z80 system here. Let's see how these two are related. The CPU of the block diagram is related to the Z80 CPU on the Z MPF1 system. The control unit or the control or Z80 microprocessor controls the system and basically it carries out the arithmetic and logic operations internally. This is the memory section on the block diagram and uh, like I said earlier, it consists of the ROM and RAM. 
So on the MPF1, this is the ROM and this is the RAM. The memory stores the instructions and data that will allow the microprocessor system to perform its tasks. As I mentioned, uh, you need the input-output chip to control external devices. So on the MPF1, this input-output chip controls the uh, seven segment display, the keyboard, and the loud speaker. Now, in addition to the uh, earlier input output chip, the MPF1 also provides an additional input output chip that will allow the user to connect devices to the system. Uh, these devices could be LEDs, switches and so on. The next thing I would like to talk about is the bus system. As I mentioned earlier, there are three buses, the address bus, data bus and the control bus. Let's take a look at the address bus. The address bus is unidirectional, which means in one way and the signals uh, from the CPU to the other components in the system. The address bus is used to identify the memory location in the memory system. Now, if you have more address lines, that means you will have more memory location that can be accessed. Next one is the data bus. Unlike the uh, address bus, the data bus is bi-directional. That means it can receive or send data. So uh, information can be sent back and forth between the CPU and the other devices. If you have more data lines, that means more bits of information can be received or sent. Next is the control bus. Uh, on the Z80, you, could have, you can have the system control, the CPU control, and the CPU bus control. Basically, what that means is, uh, let's take, for example, the read-write signals. Uh, you can, in other words, uh, the CPU is asking for information or sending information. Uh, before I end this video, let's go back to the general computer system. Here's a motherboard of a general purpose computer or a desktop. Here, this is where the microprocessor uh, sits. And here is the RAM. And this is where you will connect your hard disk to the motherboard and the graphics card can be connected to the motherboard here and you could have your keyboard and mouse connected to the motherboard now so we can conclude that the uh, motherboard of a uh, general purpose computer is a microprocessor system Okay, so that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next video. Bye.